If you were to ask me why I liked Halo back when the 360 was a thing, I would have lied to you and say that I hated Halo. It was the enemy console's flagship title and stupid and colorful. Ugh. That was a naive way of thinking, especially since it was like the only FPS with color at the time, besides like Metroid and Valve games on PC, but I digress. Recently I got my hands on the Master Chief, Chief Collection and I don't think I've charted over 100 hours in a Steam game ever this quickly. Most games tend to be accessible since whatever makes them unique is relatable to other gaming experiences. Halo on the other hand has engaged me unlike anything in the past couple of years in part due to it having a tight set of rules also being very creative in design. Between the differences of the brute, human, covenant weapons, physics, and sandbox level design line for unique strategies in single multiplayer, like with a gravity hammer pushing physics boxes over spawn points, abundance of vehicles, multiple game modes, creating your own game modes, the skulls for cheat codes in the campaign, the campaign itself, armor codes, optimization, and more. Halo allows you to leave your own mark on the game depending on what you want to do, and it's really cool to me, and has left a definite impact on me. I want to make OCs, I want to write fanfiction, and I want to get good at the game's rules and style and shit, which hasn't happened to me in so long that I cannot remember the last time that something like this interested me in such a way other than, like, drawing, I guess? I'm, I'm gonna be talking about it more often in my, uh, videos, since it's been so fun. But before I end this video, where I show my appreciation of it, I want to share one specific thing that each Halo game does the best. For Reach, it's pretty easy. It has to be the armor customization because nobody looks like anybody else in this game due to how many options you have and how you can slightly edit most of them too. Combat Evolved has my favorite precision weapon starts in uh, multiplayer. It's just the Magnum, I don't know, it just feels a lot more fun to fight against and to use than the Halo 2 battle rifle, even though I do respect the Halo 2 battle rifle because, you know, MLG and all that. It's like this, that gun is like the icon of MLG along with Master Chief's helmet. Um, and the Halo 3 battle rifle, it's alright, but the something about that Magnum, man, that Magnum is nuts in Halo 1. Halo 2 is the best expansion from the previous game, with dual wielding, that one rifle that the Covenant used that uh, is like cooldown based, Arbiter, who doesn't like Arbiter? If you don't like Arbiter, you're lying. Uh, and the Flood being basically like, kind of like redone completely into a much more cooler thing. Halo 3 has to be creativity in the sandbox style of gameplay with the equipment since you can throw down things and change how the map flow goes due to putting down traps and stuff and also stuff like the gravity hammer being able to push physics objects around and the gravity lift as well basically you're allowed to manipul manipulate the battlefield in ways that uh is not possible in the other halo games and it's encouraged too it's super fucking fun to play with odst has the best presentation being able to be the odst with the unique hud and color scheme of the game alongside the mood and ambience of the nighttime segments so 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 hopeless i love it i love the way it shows itself to the player it's so unique compared to the other ones lastly halo 4 i haven't played it yet so i'll just say it's the best graphics of what, uh, from what i've seen in the mcc anyways thank you all for listening to this little video i hope you enjoy the new halo content coming soon and i'll see you all next time Stay safe out there, and... <laughs> On your way out. Does that make me a real Halo fan now? <laughs>